Tonight, Jeannie Ives defending that controversial ad that has created a firestorm in the March Republican primary race for governor. In the ad, she attacks Governor Bruce Rauner over policy decisions on immigration, abortion, and transgender rights. Eyewitness News political reporter Craig Wall joining us tonight. He has details. Craig. Kathy Jeannie Ives spoke today before the Chicago City Club, and she had no apologies for the ad, which began airing statewide this weekend. In fact, she turned the tables on those who are blasting the ad as anti-immigrant, racist, sexist, and transphobic. I, I want to know why people are so offended by it. What's, what's offensive about the ad? Jeannie Ives says with six weeks before the primary election, the ad was needed to quickly demonstrate to voters the impact of Bruce Rauner's policy decisions, which she says have betrayed the Republican Party. What the commercial that is generating the expected hysteria from the expected quarters attempted to do, admittedly, provocatively, was to properly and truthfully characterize the extreme issue positions Rauner took and their implications. Ives contends the commercial, entitled Thank You, Bruce Rauner, tackles issues and was not an attempt to attack people. She calls it a parody of Bruce Rauner's Thank You, Mike Madigan ad. Rauner characterized it this way. It is shameful. It is ugly. It is hurtful. Uh, there's really no place for those sentiments in our society. Not everybody's tone or sensibility is the same, so people are going to take things differently. But in terms of the veracity of the statements in the ad and the representations, the characterizations of issues and issue positions the governor has taken, that's all factual. The ad, which used actors, came under particular fire for a transgender person thanking Rauner for a trans rights bill. Ives made no apologies. Rauner chose the political agenda of the LGBTQ movement over the privacy interests of moms and dads who don't want their daughters forced to be in the same bathrooms and locker rooms as men. The head of the Illinois Republican Party says Ives should take the ad down. Reasonable people can disagree on, on policy issues, but when it goes to the point of mocking and denigrating the people of Illinois, that's just wrong. Ives has no plan to pull the ad. It and another positive image piece, the one that aired during the Super Bowl, are part of an ad buy that runs through this Friday. More ads are in the works. On a side note, Ives' campaign has disavowed and repudiated a neo-Nazi supporter who donated $1,000 to her campaign. That money was returned. A staffer had retweeted one of his tweets this weekend. Mm, all right, great. Thanks. Thank you. Yep.